you've been on the internet for any amount of time and you're into space or astronomy, you've probably seen headlines like this. Asteroid the size of a bridge. Skyscraper sized asteroid. Asteroid the size of 3,500 Big Macs? I can't take that seriously. <laughs> or this one. Asteroid the size of eight Taylor Swifts. It's about time the Taylor Swift craze made its way to the astronomy world. Now these funny asteroid classifications and size comparisons used to be as rare as the glimmer of a comet in the sky. That's a little uh, Taylor Swift reference for you. I'm not a Swifty. I had to look that lyric up and that was the first one that came up. So there you go. But in recent times, some of these size comparisons have gotten really out of hand and I wanted to highlight some of these. Now let me set the record straight. Size comparisons are not a bad thing. I think they're needed and they're necessary. When I was studying to get my undergrad degree in astrophysics, I had a physics professor say something that really stuck with me. And he said, if anyone tells you they can truly wrap their mind around those vast distances, like a thousand light years, they're lying to you. He's right, those numbers are insane, mind-bogglingly huge. I mean, who can truly grasp the distance of like six trillion miles. That's an insane number to understand. We're used to numbers like feet and inches and miles. Look, I can already hear a bunch of you coming at me, telling me metric system. I'm American, so those are the units I'm using. What the fuck is a we need some of these size comparisons to help us grasp these insane distances that we use in astronomy. But in recent years, we've gotten a little wacky and wild with some of these, especially when it comes to asteroids. Some of these are pretty tame, like this one. A truck size asteroid just whipped past Earth. Or this one here, asteroid the size of an elephant. But as time went by, something happened. These journalists and news outlets started to push the envelope a bit. They wanted to go bigger, go more ridiculous. It's like they sat down and said, hey, you remember that article we published about that asteroid that was the size of an elephant? Well, I've got something better for you. 90 times better to be exact. Huge asteroid the size of 90, 90 elephants discovered. Even NASA is jumping on this trend train. I mean, look at this. It tells you the next asteroid approaches and gives you the approximate sizes of things like a car or an airplane. And while using a car or an airplane is pretty tame, I'll be honest, when you start seeing stuff like eight Taylor Swifts, something in my brain just tells me it's getting a little out of hand. And you know what? If they're allowed to get out of hand, then I'm allowed to do it too. I think we should use my measurement system instead for headlines when talking about space objects. Like this headline of a comet-sized comet discovered. Or this headline, asteroid the size of two smaller asteroids hurtling towards Earth. Or even this one, asteroid half the size of a giraffe strikes the Earth. Oh wait, that one's not mine. That's a real headline. Look, I get it. These headlines are here to generate clicks. They're here to drive traffic to these websites. But man, it is just getting ridiculous. Like some of these, it's getting out of hand. And I found dozens and dozens of articles like these. Let me show you some of my favorite ones and some of the ones that stood out to me. Let's start with the first one, which is the eight Taylor Swift size asteroid. Now, what I love about this article is the author drops tons of Taylor Swift references. I mean, look at this. It's me. Hi, I'm the asteroid. It's me. I knew you were trouble when you flew past the Earth. And <laughs> all too well, can we stop an asteroid from hitting Earth? And of course, they got to give you the size measurements because they're doing a measurement. So how tall is Taylor Swift? How many Taylor Swifts is eight Taylor Swifts? That's a dumb question. Eight Taylor Swifts is eight Taylor Swifts. How long is eight Taylor Swifts. That's the question I meant to ask. So in the article, they go with a height of five foot 11. So that means that this asteroid is just over 47 feet long. A plus for that one. <laughs> asteroid the size of 64 Canada geese to pass Earth Tuesday. It makes you wonder why they chose Canadian geese and not some other geese, other goose, other geese, other bird. If this was America, we would be using bald eagles. I like the specificity of Canadian geese, so I'll give this one a B. 
asteroid the size of 69 alligators went past Earth yesterday. And so here they tell you that 69 American alligators, I like that they specified American alligators, 69 American alligators long from snout to tail is 189.9 meters in diameter. But beyond that, this article has no other mention to alligators or anything else having to do with alligators. Nothing funny or fun or exciting. Thumbs down. I give them a D. I would give them an F, but I bumped them up a grade because they used 69 alligators. 69, dudes! Two asteroids the size of 22 penguins to pass Earth this weekend. I like the number alliteration. Two small asteroids each around the size of 22 emperor penguins, stacked nose to toes, are set to fly past Earth this weekend. Nose to toes, I love it. A little surfing reference, keeping it in the water. And the article even gives you a little bit of humor, which I love. It should be noted that emperor penguins are also the heaviest of all penguins. But while we can't weigh the two asteroids, it is safe to say they should weigh at least slightly more than 22 emperor penguins. Here we have, NASA reports an asteroid the size of a whale will graze the Earth this week. Now I've got a problem with this one. What whale? Which, what whale are you talking about? Are you talking about like a beluga whale? Are you talking about an orca? Or are you talking about a blue whale? Those are all huge differences in size. So that's a thumbs down for you. That is way too vague. I'm giving this one my worst rating yet. F minus. Two asteroids the size of 100 pugs to pass Earth. It would be even better if those asteroids were made of pugs. That would be so cute and adorable. Or it would be horrifying because 100 pugs are in the vacuum, icy cold depths of space hurtling towards us. So maybe it's not that cute. Anyways, I'd love to be surrounded by 100 pugs because that would be awesome. I'm giving this one an A plus because who doesn't love dogs? <laughs> Asteroid the size of 100 hot dogs to pass Earth. I'm a fan of this one, and it gets better. Look at this, look, look at the writing in here. I love it. <laughs> Be frank, how big is the asteroid coming towards Earth? <laughs> Talk about a sausage fest. <laughs> or this one, playing catch up or catch up. <laughs> and then finally, let us discuss. Dude, this guy is just <laughs> A plus, A plus plus. I'm giving it my highest rating, A plus plus. I have to show you how he ends the article. So don't worry, you're more likely to be killed by a hundred hot dogs than this asteroid. Because eating a hundred hot dogs at once is likely fatal. Do you remember those hot dog eating competitions? I feel like that's such an American thing, right? I wonder what the record is for most hot dogs eaten. What's up friends, future Ian here. While I was editing this video, another ridiculous size comparison came out. Uh, a tweet came out from Latest in Space saying, a newly discovered asteroid is the size of 16 washing machines. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like us Americans will do anything to not use the metric system. Anyways, back to the video. While these articles are written by lots of different people and are posted on lots of different websites, I found one person in particular whose name kept popping up over and over. The one person who's the culprit for most of these articles, especially the ridiculous ones that you see. He's a writer for jpost.com and his name is Aaron, this guy. And let me give you some more examples of some of the stuff that he wrote, like this one, using 100 Barbies, or this one using 1,000 capybaras. I'll be honest, I didn't know what that thing was and I had to look up that word, but this is a capybara. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right and I'm not gonna edit it or look it up, so please make fun of me or correct me in the comments if I got it wrong. And my personal favorite, six Darth Vaders. Some people may say he's doing a disservice to astronomy, but deep down inside of my soul, the marketing person within me is cheering him on. Look when he released the Taylor Swift asteroid article. It was around the same time as when the Super Bowl was happening. Or his 100 Barbie sized asteroid article. This one came out around the time when the Barbie movie was coming out. When it comes to grabbing your attention in an era where we have the attention span of a goldfish, these headlines are doing work getting people interested in astronomy, or at least getting people talking about space. What do you think? 
Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.